so this week we have Pan Payak. Um, let's see. We've studied similar fighters. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He just got rocked. Um, oh no. Oh no, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> but he's a... He's a kicker. He's very good with his rear kick. Uh, that's his main weapon. Everything is to set up his kicks. Uh, similar fighters, as I was saying, are like Yodsing Klai and Sam Ko. But yeah, each fighter, they've got like different complementary weapons. So Yodsen Klai's got like heavy hands. Pan Payak, he's got pretty good distance management. He's got good clinch as well. And compared to like some core, some core is just like brute strength, power. So today we are watching Pan Payak versus Yod Lekpet. I don't really know too much about either besides the small amount of videos I've seen from Pan Payak. Uh, I believe he's in 1FC right now. And he's been at the top level of the Thai stadiums for a while as well. Yodlek Pet, I have no idea about his style, anything. I just know he's in the circuit of the elite fighters. So, so far, this matchup uh, looks like Yodlek Pet is... Kind of the aggressor, he's landed a few more heavier shots. Whoa, giant sweep. Pan Payak, he's trying to maintain his distance. Whoa, he got rocked again. I don't know, but Yod Yodlek Pet, he might be a Moimat, like heavy hands, leg kicks. But he's landing a lot and Pan Payak is getting rocked everywhere not sure what round it is but probably third or fourth though they usually skip round one or two heavy leg kicks uh, good pressure by Yod Leg Pet Pan Payak's just using his long range weapons, not really even scoring, he's just trying to find reactions and trying to set up his his rear weapons. We Okay, round four, that was round three then. Should be exciting round. We're about halfway through the video. And super exciting. You can tell by like the body shape as well, like what kind of fighter, or you can try guess what kind of fighter um, they are. So Pan Payak, he's tall, a bit lankier, he's got good range. Usually someone with that body frame would be like a kicker or a clincher. And you see your leg pet is a bit more stocky, a bit shorter. Moimat kind of suits him. He's got a bit more muscle as well. Alright. So, a bit of clinching happening. Yodlek Pet. He is getting the sweeps in. I'm not sure who's winning so far, but I want to say Yodlek Pet. Do, do, do. The hands are really landing for your leg pet. He's still rocking Pan Payak. He's on the back foot a bit. Not much setting up by your leg pet. He's just pressuring, closing the distance, and just sitting into his punches. Pan Payak, oi, trying to just go for some knees, kicks when he has the space. But he's not working as much. 
looks like the leg kicks are working as well for your leg pet. There's like a slight pause by Panpayak every time he gets kicked in the leg now. So there's, they're adding up. Mm. Oi. Yeah. All right. End of round four. You can see the difference, like, I guess, uh, how do you say, when they throw the strikes, um, Yodlek pick is much more confident, and Panpayak, maybe he's faded a bit, he's got less power, less pop in his strikes, he's just trying to stay in and score, outscore. But yeah, similar to the other videos, Panpayak, the pressuring fighter in the last round is usually behind on points. And your leg pack is just keeping it safe, staying on the outside, not doing too much. I think they both know who's won, so they're just stalling it out. And there you go, they touch gloves. They're not really gonna push for it. Your leg pack, good job. That was a good fight, very exciting. But I wish they didn't cut it off too much. Like round three and four. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, catch you on the next one. Bye bye.